If I am somebody when I am successful, what am I if I am unsuccessful? I can look back and say, I could have been polishing my unused endowments like trophies. Or I can look back and say, I gave it my all for the things I valued. I need to step back and think. Think about what I want to look back and say. Then choose my mindset. The growth mindset is a starting point for change. But I need to decide for myself where my efforts towards change would be most valuable. I need to decide to make myself a priority. I set goals to achieve my dreams. I envision positive outcomes for my endeavors. I embrace challenges and see effort as a path to mastery. I build the lifestyle I would like to live. I am the architect of my own destiny. When I had a fixed mindset, I became the victim of my life. I didn't take control of my abilities or my motivation. When things got too challenging, I looked for my talents to carry me through. And when it didn't, when I was not feeling smart or talented, I lost interest. And then I said to myself, well then, what else could I have done? Embody a growth mindset. People with the growth mindset don't allow outside forces to disrupt our accomplishments. The growth mindset takes the stigma out of the stereotype and makes us better prepared for success. We don't believe in permanent mediocrity. And if we are behind, well, then we'll work harder, seek help, and try to catch up. Many growth-minded people didn't even plan to go to the top. They got there as a result of doing what they love. It's ironic. The top is where most fixed-minded people hunger to be, but where most growth-minded people arrive as a byproduct of their enthusiasm for what they do. The growth mindset allows people to value what they are doing regardless of the outcome. Growth-minded people seek the progressive realization of an idea and reach it. Make yourself a priority.